This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and last week several viewers sent me an article, which I'll link below, entitled The Best Door Lock. It was published by Wirecutter, a product review site owned by and branded under the New York Times. I need to start by saying that it should have been titled The Best Cheap or Entry-Level Door Lock because that's what the article discusses. This is the lock to which they gave the crown, it's the Schlage Model B60N, and I'm not going to argue with the conclusion. The article seemed to be well researched, and while reasonable minds can differ, it's certainly one of the top few picks for the entry-level market segment. But one issue on which I did disagree was the characterization of this lock as quote, extremely pick resistant. I think that significantly overstates the case. Inside of here is a zinc core with five pins, four of which are spools, that's a type of anti-pick pin. And while that's likely to defeat most low-skill attacks, I don't think it should pose too much of a challenge for intermediate level pickers or even for talented beginners. So let's give this a try. I'm going to use this medium wiper insert as a turning tool in the bottom of the keyway and this standard hook in 25 thousandths. By the way, both of these tools are part of the Genesis set that I sell over on covertinstruments.com. Okay, click out of one. Two is binding. Nice click there. Little click on three. Click on four. Click out of five, and it looks like we just went into a false set. I'm a little bit stuck behind the pins there, but I was able to get my pick out back to the beginning. Counter rotation on one. I think we got one set, but we lost our false set. Nothing on two, little click on three, little click on four, click out of five, and we got this open. Okay, let's take this apart, and I will show you what's inside. We need to remove this from this tiny little piece of door on which I mounted it. Okay, we can now remove the core by using this follower that ensures none of the driver pins drop down. And let's remove these key pins. They all appear to be standard pins. And interestingly, if we look at this core, we can see a metal plate in the front. That's hardened steel, and that is going to prevent most real bits from penetrating the front of this. What most people don't know, however, is there's also an anti-drill plate behind the face of this. What a lot of locksmiths and criminals will do is drill for the screws that hold this lock together. That will be very difficult on a lock like this. Okay, let's get those driver pins out now. As I said before, there are four spools. And I believe they're in positions one through four. Then there's a standard pin in slot five. And all of the springs should be the same. And indeed they are. Okay, let me give you a close look at this. All of those key pins are standard, as is the driver pin in slot 5, and the driver pins in slots 1 through 4 are all spools.
All in all, not too bad for the $35 price point, but it wouldn't be that tough to find something better if you spend a little more money. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.